All right, child, we back again for another episode of This Could Have Been an Email. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mama. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode 71, Mark, and what's that girl named? Taylor. Before we get into this review, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share me out, all that good stuff, okay? I don't want to make this review long at all because this episode was boring as hell. It really was. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Because if you watch it at this point, if you don't already watch the episode, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you right now. If it's going to be the catfish, give me something. Like this one? It was very much Kardashian tease. Very much um, Paris and Nicole back was when they was on the farm tease. We gonna get into it, y'all. Uh, hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I ain't got a whole lot of time. I gotta go to my son's football practice. Hopefully, y'all are ready for it because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get up into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So we got Mark. He's 30 years old. He's from Boston. Okay. He's been talking to this chick named Taylor. She's 21 for the last year. Okay. He is, like I said, he's from Boston. She's originally from LA. Right now she's living in Vegas. They met on PVP, okay? It's like this virtual type room where you can meet other people, share other ideas and stuff like that. I don't know if it's virtual reality. I don't know. I don't give a damn. But this is, you know, this is this, whatnot. Now he was having a party on there for his birthday. It was his first time throwing a birthday on the little PVP type thing or whatever that it was on. And he was real nervous about it, Whatever, right so she was like his personal cheerleader she was telling him no you're doing a good job babe. good for you babe they kicked it off from there exchanged um no they end up talking yeah they got each other phone number end up talking for the rest of the night he really likes her a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot of so much to so where uh he ain't seeing all the goddamn red flags they have not video chatted they never met i don't even know if they've even made um any plans to meet up i don't know he even told this heifer one time to send him a picture of her throwing uh blowing a kiss and she said that's asking for too much or that's too much to do or some shit like that she said i was like what she don't want to see you no picture of her blowing a kiss. Uh, baby, come on now. Although they talk frequently on the phone, he says he feels like she changes up her voice to sound real high-pitched to, like, throw him off. And so his somebody else that's in the little PVP room with him, they was even communicating. Another dude was like, I don't know if this is who she says she is because the same pictures that she sent into Mark, she done sent these pictures to other people. And then he said she act one way and then she act another way. So the homeboy that's talking on his homeboy from the PVP already know something ain't right with this bitch. How he didn't see all these red flags, I don't know. The child signed for the investigation. They start with the phone number. The phone number comes back Mauricio. I want to say it was Mauricio Taylor because she goes by the name Marie Taylor. Um, but he calls her Taylor. Um, I want to say the last name was Mauricio Taylor. I could be wrong. Anywho, don't even goddamn matter. They end up searching another website that checks the phone numbers. And that phone number came back registered as Marie Taylor. So they like, well, maybe somebody's using her phone number or so it was just confusing right so from here they search her ig her ig seems completely legit amount of followers seem good she's got story after story after story on there she's got a bunch of pictures on there bunch of comments bunch of likes all this shit so everything about her seems legit right now they also end up searching a phone number for her no i'm sorry not a phone number they end up searching her photos and it goes to this website something like marilyn monroe looking like some shit like that i don't know and it shows her contact info they end up searching that phone number as well and that phone number comes back as well registered as marie taylor phone number is matching the picture that's matching everything so they thinking like what if somebody is controlling well not controlling has access to her account and she thinks that she's going off of one account but there's a whole other account that i mean you know she's using this account to catfish other people that's just what neve and cammy is thinking just because the shit was too coincidental how much like I said, everything was matching out, mapping out the way it should be, right? So from here, they end up getting back to Mark, giving him all the tea. They also end up sending Taylor a text message like, bitch, the jig is up. 
Okay, we know some ain't right. We know you got something to goddamn do with. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get back to it so we can go ahead and get this thing popping, right? They don't end up hearing nothing from her just then. But Mark also says that we can send her um, a Snapchat, which they end up doing, sending a Snapchat with the picture of all of them. And was like, hey, bitch, we in the house again. We in LA. What's good? We already know the goddamn uh, bitch you up to something, right? So the next day, Neve ends up getting a text message and says, uh, when did he get to her? Uh, when did he get to LA? Why is he here? And it don't even matter because I ain't meeting up with y'all no goddamn way. Neve and Candy is like, bitch, huh? She also says if they meet up, it won't be good. And I was even thinking, well, are you a man? <laughs> What you mean it ain't going to be goddamn good, bitch? Do you got to tell? They end up getting back to Mark, and of course, he's pissed about it, child. He's so mad, he got to go off and smoke a goddamn cigarette. That's how you know your nerves bad when you going to go off to the side, in the middle of filming and go smoke a cigarette? Oh, that nigga bad. That nigga was bad. Had to have a little pride of himself, a little, you know, get himself together, what now. I ain't mad at real men cry. So they sit down, they talk to him just then. They end up getting a phone call back from Taylor, and it's this real, like I said, this real cartoonish, Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton-ish tease voice was talking, and she was like, um, if he really wants to meet, then I'll give you the address, and we can just meet from there, and yeah, like, everything she said kind of had a question on the end of it, like, which are you asking me, are you telling me? I'm confused. So she ends up giving him the address, try to head to the address. Neve, oh Lord, but then again, that probably is an Airbnb that they rent they renting. Cause Neve just walk up in people's goddamn house. He ain't gonna be satisfied satisfied to somebody shoot his ass off, uh shoot a goddamn hole through his kneecap. And the way this nigga just be walking up in people's house and shit, looking all up and through shit, looking through the you know, well, hello. And she's like, I'll be there in a the minute, hold on. No, bitch. Even Cam be like, Cam, that's that black in her Neve. That's a stranger's home. Have you not heard of stranger danger? Have you not heard of trafficking? Shit. They can make some money off your ass. Girl, so finally, they wait, and um, she comes up out the room, child, and it's actually Marie Taylor. It's her. Uh, so everything from here on out was like, yeah. He was like, so it's actually, yeah. So you were sending him the messages. Yeah. So, what you got to say? Yeah. He was like, damn, bitch, you don't know nothing else. Okay, at least, what, bitch, do you know? No, goddamn, everything was, yeah. So, yeah, but, yeah, but she, long story short, yeah, she's not really feeling him. He kind of, long. I'm just going to go ahead and break this shit down, okay? She's a beautiful chick with these tick old bitties, this blonde hair and shit, she on there, she caught his attention because she, you know, piped him up, made him feel good. He felt like, damn, I probably can't get no bitch like this in real life. Mind you, Mark is a whole ass vibe in his damn self. He got like this grungy type vibe to him. I ain't gonna lie, he seemed like a vibe, like a cool ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Which, you seem too cool for her any goddamn way. It's good for you that it didn't work out, Mark, because she just wasn't your stilo at all like she need another um i don't want to say something mean but I, i'm trying to get into heaven she needs somebody that's on the same tip as her and i'm just gonna say that from that and saying um neve and cammy kind of had to split them up you know how neve will take um one person to the side cammy will take the other person to the side she took mark to the side and was like look here <laughs> I don't think you quite getting it. This bitch ain't really into you, but I don't need you to go ahead and cut your losses because this bitch just ain't the one. She just ain't the goddamn one. So long story short, they decided not to be together, which it was good in the goddamn way. They decided not to be together because, uh, yeah, Mark, she wasn't no goddamn good anyway. And it was a goddamn episode. This episode was born MTV as executive couch producer. You know I'm going to give it to you real straight, no chasers. I'm going to need y'all to give me some of that. Uh, put some stank on the next damn episodes or something. But this just wasn't given what had needs to be given when in, in the moment that it needs to be given. But anyway, so y'all are ready to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And y'all, Auntie Mo, see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.